four. And what I want to do is cover uh, what we're going to focus on. First off, at the top here, we have Explore File System and Backup Tips. We have a document that you can take a look at. It's linked here and gives you some ideas for organizing your files on your computer. And what I want you to do is examine this document, but also I want you to research other resources. So, you know, search however you want. Google, Delicious, um, Pinterest, what have you. What are ways to organize our stuff, our digital stuff? And I want you to find at least one other resource and add it to our resources page. So right down here. And click on the edit button, then add in the web address and write a brief description about why it's a good resource. There's so many different ideas out there. Um, I want to harvest uh, our own intelligence, our own diverse ways of going about this. So do that research. Along the research, you may find something about cloud computing. And I have a video linked here for uh, the plain English people uh, explaining what cloud computing is. Not to be too confusing, but cloud computing is many things. It could be running stuff online like Google Docs, where you create a document and it lives at Google and not on your computer. And you can you know, access that from any web browser on any computer at any time. That's cloud computing. You can be backing up your files to other places. There's uh, places called Dropbox and other websites where you can just drag and drop your files to their websites and store your stuff there for safekeeping. That's cloud computing. You can, um, uh, your photos are probably a perfect example where you upload your photos to another website uh, for safekeeping and, and viewing and whatnot. That's cloud computing as well. So I wanted to give you this video link just so you could you know, take a look at it. Because again, it can be confusing when you hear it's in the cloud or cloud computing. It's like, what does that all mean? It's kind of a catch-all for a number of things. So please take a look at that. And scrolling down here, um, review other people's entries. So as you put your resources on the resources page, go look at that and see what other people have found in the research. And we can piggyback on each other um, and take a look at other things. That'd be really cool. Also, it, we had talked about what backup device do I use? I use the Western Digital machine. It's a portable little drive that fits in a shirt pocket. It's really awesome. It does not need external power. It just plugs in with a USB port to your computer and it pulls the power off your computer to run itself. It's pretty cool. And they usually run about a hundred bucks depending on how big you want it to be. So one terabyte is 1,000 megabytes. Uh, I know a lot of times these terms can be really confusing like how big is big and whatnot. But I think if you go with a half a terabyte, which is 500 megabytes, or terabyte, that should be fine. I tend to go with as big as I can afford. In this case, I would buy a terabyte. Um, Western Digital, you can find them at Best Buy. What's nice about Best Buy is you could walk in and buy one. And you can ask questions there. Uh, you get hands-on, you can see it. They have different colors. I mean, it's kind of cool. Uh, but being in person may be helpful because the people there can answer your questions about so you're going to use it for backing up files and so on they can you know steer you in the right direction Amazon has them as well so you can see the prices here and I did links on our schedule to these pages so you can see the search and again all the passports work it's just a matter of how big you want it to be USB 2.0 or 3.0 that's all good it's all gonna work fine and um, yeah so back to our schedule uh, what I do want you to do as evidence of our activity is to create a reflection on your student Google page and I want you to title it Computer File Management. Woo! And just reflecting on what you found in your research. So I wrote down here, uh, you know, in doing this research, what have you found are interesting ideas for organizing your files? What have you found as good backup schemes? Do you back up your photos? If so, where? Um, have you looked into systems like Google Docs for creating you know, your word process documents, spreadsheets, and your day-to-day -day nuts and bolts things that you use at work or at home? Um, have you thought about using that? Again, that is a backup scheme because they don't live on your computer, though you can download them to your computer at any time. It's kind of fun. Um, and, and other ways that you've thought about potentially saving to the cloud. Again, backing up photos is probably something that a lot of people are already doing on some level uh, by uploading them to websites. So copy and paste your reflection from your Google, Google page into Blackboard, and then please reflect on two other students' entries. And that's what that, this says right here. So in review, you'll be creating 
a journal post on your Google page for TCI 517. You'll be copying and pasting that into Blackboard and reflecting on two other people's. That will be uh, covered under the journal rubric. And you're going to be adding a resource into the resources page on the TCI 517 resources page, and that will fall under participation. So you're adding to our knowledge base. And that is it for week four. Enjoy. I'm excited to read your material and see what you're thinking about backup schemes and organizing your data. Have a great week.